Singer and actress Beyoncé Giselle Knowles was born on September 4, 1981, in Houston, Texas. She started singing at an early age, competing in local talent shows and winning many of these events by impressing audiences with her singing and dancing abilities. Teaming up with her cousin, Kelly Rowland, and two classmates, Beyoncé formed an all-female singing group. Her father, Matthew Knowles, served as the band's manager. The group went through some name and lineup changes before landing a record deal in 1997 with Columbia Records. Destiny's Child soon became one of the most popular R&B acts, with the release of their first, self-titled album. Gaining momentum, the group scored its first number one single on the pop charts with Bills, 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 off their second album. The recording also featured another smash hit, Say My Name. While enjoying her group's success, Beyoncé began exploring other projects. She made her acting debut in 2001 with a starring role in MTV's Carmen, a hip hop era. She then co-starred with Mike Myers in the Austin Powers spy parody Gold Member the following year. On the musical front, Beyoncé took center stage as a solo artist, releasing her first album, Dangerously in Love, in 2003. The recording became a huge success for her both commercially and critically. It sold millions of copies and won five Grammy Awards. On the album, Beyoncé worked with a number of different artists, including Missy Elliott, Sean Paul and Jay-Z. She was rumored to be dating Jay-Z around this time, but the couple did not publicly acknowledge their relationship. Destiny's Child released their last studio album, Destiny Fulfilled, in 2004 and officially broke up the following year. On her own, Beyoncé continued to enjoy great success. Her second studio album, 2006's B-Day featured such hits as Irreplaceable and Deja Vu. On the big screen, she starred opposite Jennifer Hudson, Jaime Fox and Eddie Murphy in Dreamgirls. The film was adapted from the hit Broadway musical of the same name, in 2008, Beyoncé married rapper and music mogul Jay-Z in a small, private ceremony in New York City. Among the guests cited at the wedding were Beyoncé's mother Tina Knowles, her father and manager Matthew, her sister Solange, Destiny's Child members Kelly Rowland and Michelle Williams, and friend Gwyneth Paltrow. The newlywed continued to work as hard as ever, promoting her latest effort, I Am. Sasha Fierce, 2008. Beyoncé scored two big hits off the album, Single Ladies, Put a Ring on It, and If I Were a Boy. She also returned to the big screen that year, starring as R&B legend Etta James in Cadillac Records. The following January, Beyoncé sang James' trademark song, At Last, for President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama at his inaugural ball. In addition to acting and performing, Beyoncé ran a clothing line called House of Deron with her mother. She also launched her own fragrance, Heat, in 2010. Throughout her career, Beyoncé has served as a spokesperson and model for several other brands, including L'Oreal and Tommy Hilfiger. Beyoncé found herself under fire after performing a private concert for Libyan leader Muammar al-Qaddafi on New Year's Eve in 2010. She later donated her fee from the event to help victims of the Haitian earthquake. According to some reports, Beyoncé said that her father had been responsible for arranging the Libyan concert. She decided to drop her father as her manager in March 2011. Later that year, Beyoncé reached the top of the album charts with her latest solo release, 4. In January 2013, Beyoncé generated some negative headlines for her performance at President Obama's second inauguration in Washington, D.C. She was criticized for reportedly pre-recording a version of the Star Spangled Banner and lip-syncing to her own track during the outdoor ceremony. Despite wide media coverage, in the days following the incident, Beyoncé did not publicly address the controversy. Not long after, prior to her appearance at Super Bowl's LVI, Beyoncé performed the song Live at a press conference. 
She explained to reporters that she had used a backing track at the inauguration, adding that she would absolutely be singing live at the NFL's biggest event of the year, according to the Huffington Post. Indeed, Beyoncé more than redeemed herself in the public eye at the Super Bowl on February 3, 2013. During the event's halftime show, she took the stage and wowed the crowd, joined by her former Destiny's Child bandmates Roland and Williams for parts of her performance. Beyoncé also announced that her next 